Item number, SCP-863. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-863-1 is to be contained in a 2 meter by 2 meter enclosure and provided with nutrition as detailed in Nutritional Chart 863-11. Due to its low risk of breaching containment, SCP-863-1 is to be kept under guard by one member of security. In the event of limb loss, SCP-863-1 is to be provided with a replacement from a similarly proportioned crab. SCP-863-2 is to be contained in a 6 meter by 6 meter enclosure and provided with nutrition as detailed in Nutritional Chart 863-21. SCP-863-2 is to be kept under guard by two members of security. In the event of limb loss, SCP-863-2 is to be provided with a suitable replacement. SCP-863-3 is to be contained in a 10 meter by 10 meter enclosure and provided with nutrition via robotic arm, as detailed in Nutritional Chart 863-31. SCP-863-3 is to be kept under guard by six members of security at all times. No personnel are to enter SCP-863-3's containment enclosure. In the event of limb loss, SCP-863-3 is to be provided with a cadaver as replacement. Any specimens of SCP-863 found in the wild are to be destroyed. Description SCP-863 is a species of crab commonly found in areas of SCP-863 specimens, when first born, measure roughly 3 centimeters in height and 1 gram in weight but are capable of growing up to sizes of data expunged. When fully grown, specimens superficially resemble the Japanese spider crab. Specimens of SCP-863 are born without limbs and undergo a process in which they utilize the limbs of other organisms, or even whole organisms, in lieu of their own. From birth, SCP-863 move themselves across the ground by sliding using several tendrils attached to their limb joints. When specimens of SCP-863 locate a suitably sized limb or organism, they will puncture it using their tendrils, which will then retract and slot the organism or limb into the limb joint. Using a series of electrical pulses, SCP-863 will then manipulate the limb or organism's nervous system. This process is not perfect and the utilized limb or organism will typically twitch or jerk periodically. Specimens of SCP-863 are highly territorial, and larger specimens can cause severe injuries or death when provoked. Groups of SCP-863 have been observed to, on occasion, actively hunt for other organisms to remove limbs from. Larger specimens will simply utilize these organisms wholesale as their limbs would not be suitable for specimens of that size. Specimen Log SCP-863-1 Right arm Pincer from Carpilius Convexus Left arm Pincer from Ranina Ranina Legs Four from Ciliopagoras Two from Ranina Ranina SCP-863-2 Right arm Awaiting replacement. Left arm. Human hand taken from a cadaver. Legs. Two hooves from a mountain goat. Three legs from a dog. And one arm from a bear. SCP-863-3. Right arm. A human cadaver. Left arm. Life signs normal. See Containment Breach 863-31. Legs. Six legs taken from human cadavers. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-862. Rats. Right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.